Hello everybody, my name is Michael from Polygon Island, and welcome to Sculpting Cloth in Real Time in Blender. So before this video starts, I just want to give a shout out to my Discord server. Um, it's right here, it's the first link in the description. You guys can click it, uh, and it'll bring you to the Discord server. You guys can type, you guys can ask me questions about Blender, you guys can post your art, post memes, ask for help. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to do... Um, is you need to download Blender 2.91. You can just look up on Google Blender 2.91, go to Blender Experimental Builds, and then download it. Um, it only works in 2.91 because 2.91 has a special new brush that we're going to use. So, um, with this, we can go ahead and delete our default cube by hitting delete, or we can hit X and delete on our keyboard. I'm going to hit Shift A and I'm going to add a plane. I'm going to scale it up by about 7, and then I'm going to give it about 100 subdivisions. So, the way I did that was with our plane selected, hit tab, this will bring you into edit mode. Right click and then click subdivide. And then down here at the top at the bottom left, we can click and then just type in 100. So this will subdivide our plane 100 times right here, um, which should be enough uh, for what we need. So now that we have our plane subdivided, what we're going to do is go to the sculpting tab at the top right here. It should be the third one from the left. We can click that and we can see we have our all of our sculpting brushes. So uh, we're not going to worry about any of these today. We're going to go all the way down until we find this little boundary brush. So this boundary brush is what we're going to be using. Now normally if we use this we can see that it just brings um, some faces up and stuff. Um, and different stuff like that. You can see that we can bend it. But the cool thing about this brush is we hit N to bring up this transform menu and then go to tool we can see down here we have a, a lot of settings for the brush itself but the one we're gonna focus on is deformation we can change deformation from geometry to cloth simulation and you can see now we have a cloth simulation in pretty much real time in the viewport so um yeah, uh, there's a lot of stuff you could do with this. You could animate this if you want, like, a, a kind of Aladdin floating carpet thing. But, yeah. Just different stuff like this. Um, but, yeah, uh, that's pretty much that. And also, if you want to give, um, if you want to kind of move these vertices and stuff, you can. So I'm going to go ahead and move these and then enable proportional editing. Just kind of bring these out just a little bit. And so now we have this cloth uh, kind of simulation going on right here. And now that we have that, what we can do is if we want to add extra detail to this, we can actually use the, cross, uh, the cloth brush itself, which is right under the boundary brush. It's a cloth. Uh, we can pick this. And we can scale it down a little bit, and then we can just sculpt some more cloth. Um, this is really, really useful. Um, I really like it. Um, but yeah, you can pretty much kind of sculpt any kind of cloth you want. Um, and just do stuff like this. And now we have this real-time cloth sim in Blender. You don't have to play an animation to wait for it to... Um, like simulate you can shape it however you want uh, which is really cool uh, the only time this wouldn't really work if you if, if you're trying to drape, uh, drape a cloth over an object in that case you'll still have to make the collisions objects and stuff but if you're just trying to make like a cloth material this is really good um, so yeah uh, we, you can just keep doing this and stuff and just find something that looks good and then once you have that, once you have your cloth made and stuff, we can right click and then click shade smooth. Um, we can also give it a subdivision surface if we want, uh, which I'm probably going to do. And I don't know how this is going to handle on my computer. Okay, we're good. Uh, so now that we have that, we can apply the modifier and we can see that we now have a cloth simulation in blender in real time uh, so this is pretty cool um, so thank guy thanks guys so much for watching uh, you can make a ton of different stuff with this hopefully you guys enjoyed and my name is Michael from polygon island and I'll see you guys next time